are responsible for killings in Anambra, IPOP tells Nigerian army. The indigenous people of Biafra has denied claims that it owns a camp in Liulu, Iyala, local government area of Anambra state where soldiers claim to have killed suspected members of the group. Spokesperson of the Nigerian Army, Brigadier General Wachiku, had in a statement on Tuesday said it dislodged a notorious stronghold of IPOP and its armed affiliate, Eastern Security Network, in the area during a joint operation. But reflecting the claims by the Army, IPOC spokesperson Emma Powerful in a statement said the group had no camp in the area. Powerful accused the army of criminal misrepresentation of fact against IPOC and ESN. The statement partly reads, We wish to reiterate that IPOC and ESN operatives have no camp in Lielu, in Iyala, local government area of Anambra State. We are not militants and criminals and don't need any camp in Iyala local government. We are identifiable and we are all over Biafra land and IPOP branches in diaspora. Nigerian security agents are using the hatred they have on the people of Biafra, particularly IPOP and ESN members, to unleash mayhem on the people living in the same communities where they suspect that criminals are taking refuge. If criminals take refuge in any community in Biafra land, that does not make them IPOP members or ESN operatives. We have also not said there are no more criminals gangs in Biafra land, just like every other country, even in the advanced Western nations. But we won't accept the tagging of every criminal element found in Biafra as an IPOP member or ESN operative. Record that some of these criminals were already mentioned by IPOP leadership sometime during a, bro a broadcast. IPOP leadership said these criminals were unleashing mayhem on innocent citizens in some communities. Some of these hoodlums were a creation of wicked politicians in their desperation to discredit IPOP and ESN the statement reads. Meanwhile, Nigerians have reacted to this. I know not what course others may take, but as for me, give me Biafra or give me dead. Hmm. Accusation over Imo state killings have been laid to rest. We all have heard about the people that were behind all these things. IPOP were exonerated in emo killings. The same thing is happening all over Igbo land. IPOP is 100 steps ahead of this empty score federal government. Hmm. IPOP and ESN members should please embrace one Nigeria. 2023 is around the corner. They should make friends with us, not in us, and embrace one Nigeria, and we will grant them the seat of the vice president only. <laughs> Complete lies. Nobody can discredit, discredit, discredit Nigerian army for to do their legitimate duties within and outside Nigeria. Okay, someone just dropped that too. These are reactions by Nigerians and they are still talking. It is clear with many evidence. Absolutely, they recruited Boko Harams into Nigerian army for fully fullinalization of nigeria the pain about this biafra issue is that nigerian army or fulani army always attack armless citizens in southeast there is nothing that does not have an end this is the most complicit regime in history on crimes against humanity reckoning days reckoning days are coming definitely i pop with lies like hunter and blood someone's dropped that too okay these are reactions by nigerians ipop have said nigerian army are responsible for killings in anambra not ipop 
According to the indigenous people of Biafra, it denied claims that it holds a camp in Iyala, local government area of Anambra State, where soldiers claim to have killed suspected members of the group. The spokesperson for the Nigerian Army, Brigadier General Wachuku, had in a statement on Tuesday said he dislodged a notorious stronghold of IPOP and its armed athlete, Eastern Security Network, ESN, in the area during a joint operation. But reflecting the claims by the Army, IPOP spokesperson Emma Powerful in a statement said the group had no camp in the area. Powerful accused the army of criminal misrepresentation of the fact against IPOP and ESN. He said they wish to reiterate that IPOP and ESN operatives have no camp in Iyala local government in Anambra state. According to the IPOP spokesperson, he said IPOP are not militant. He said criminals does not need he said they don't they, they don't need any camps in Iyala local government. According to him, he said they are identifiable and they are all over Biafra land and IPOP branches in diaspora. Now the question is who are those people that are being killed by Nigerian army according to them? I know I always say this, I'm gonna say it again. That uh, because of what is going on in Southeast, whatever that happens in, in Southeast becomes, you know, IPOP and ESN member because IPOP are agitating for their own freedom. And with so doing, the real criminals who are committing all these atrocities will be committing all these atrocities and be going free because they are, they are not noticed. Yes. First of all, investigate. When things happen like this, investigate. Who are those, you know, behind all these unknown gunmen in the Southeast and all that? I said this before now that the only way peace can reign in the uh, Southeast is for the Southeast leaders to do what they call independent investigation, thorough investigation. Find out those who are behind these unknown gunmen. Since IPOP member has said they are not, you know, behind the unknown gunmen. According to them, they've even said they will go after unknown gunmen. So, it's not led for the Southeast leaders to find out those who are behind unknown gunmen in the Southeast region. It's really very, very necessary. Know that. So, guys, I am going to drop it here. Kindly share your thoughts with us below the comment section. And don't forget to give us thumbs up. Thank you very much for stopping by. Bye for now.